Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. So, let's continue with what we were up to last episode, which was essentially just trying to clear this area up here so that we could colonize and take this area for the delicious, delicious oil. I thought we were playing as uh, the, the African Union, not the uh, Ark. Anyways. Uh, okay, so we can either heal or we can give them a... Uh, power boost. I personally, in this case, prefer the power boost because they're not in imminent danger of dying. Anybody else have any veterancy? No, that's it. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch these two around. Kind of get the gunners hopefully a little closer. These can't reach anything, but if those things try to move into position. And before we uh, continue forward, we are actually going to uh, let our soldiers heal up a little bit. You guys can just go on to fortify, and you will have to heal up next turn. And yeah, so we're just going to hold out here for a couple of turns, let them heal up before we continue to push forward. There's no reason to rush it. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at the rest of our empire here. So we have a biofuel plant coming in Thabo, which will help with uh, some energy concerns, though we're not doing too bad on that in that regard as it is anyway. Uh, still seeing a lot of stuff I've kind of messed up uh, you know, it being my first game and all. I've since gone through and uh, completed my first game on Apollo difficulty, so I can, in fact, do it. We will see if uh, if it's something I can repeatedly do, or if it was just a one-time thing. Who knows? I'm looking forward to uh, to finishing this game, though. I will I will say that. Anyways, enough about that. Let's focus on the game at hand, shall we? So, what can we do as far as layout is concerned? Okay, we have... Do we have anybody uh, in, uh, no. So we don't have anybody sitting in uh, worker slots or specialist slots, I guess they're called. Do we have anybody working a tile that is currently unimproved? Not here. So there's really no point just yet in tearing down forests and stuff. Might as well just leave it as is. Because all the tiles that are being, well, this one's not great, actually, now that I look at it. We could possibly get a better tile by turning that into a farm. So that's what we're going to do. We'll get our worker up there. And what's going on over here? Do we have anybody that's not doing anything over here? But I had another worker. Oh, there he is. He's hooking up that silica, so that's fine. And up here, what do we have? Why aren't you doing anything? I guess you just finished moving there. That's okay. All right, so we'll be able to hook up that floatstone soon as well, which will be helpful. Hopefully the aliens will come nice and close to us. Unfortunately, that siege worm depending on what he decides to do, could become a bit of a problem. With any kind of luck, he'll just go away and we won't have to worry about him. But I somewhat doubt we're going to get that lucky. And we are still a little ways away from battle suits. Ow. I forgot I was close enough for them to do that. Nope, we were detected. Oh wait, nope. Somebody else is performing a covert operation against us. I see. Does it, will it tell me anything about it? No. All right. We got another siege worm over there. So these guys are not going to uh, be playing nice with us. So let's see if we can't maybe kill them off. We'll still let some of our other soldiers try to uh, hang back and heal. Um, you know what? We're just going to set you to automated, automated explore. I'm quite finished doing that by hand at this point. Let's see, you can move up to there, and you guys can move on to that hill, and hopefully, yeah, you're going to just fortify there for now, and hopefully that means we will be able to, um, to shoot him with more than just the one gunner next turn, though I somewhat doubt it. I don't want to move there, because that's a little close to that siege worm, so I guess we more or less just have to wait here, and hopefully that siege worm will go away, or these guys will move to a place where we can actually hurt them. All right, so we finished up over here. What can we build now? Lots of stuff to build. How do I not have a trade depot over here yet? Let's go. Let's get that hooked. Oh, pardon me. I have the hiccups. I'm gonna go grab myself a drink. Ah, oh, okay, much better. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, we're still finishing up this move. And you guys can wait, and let's see if we can't make a little bit more progress here. 
It's kind of hoping to heal, but with uh, with this Manticore here, it's not going to be uh, very easy to heal up with him constantly pelting us. Not to mention, if we have to go up against that Siege Worm, it's really not going to matter how much health we have. Alright, there's a little bit of damage there. Alright, go ahead and build us a farm. Now, let's get, uh, let's get this Manticore dead. And once more for luck. That should just about do it. Alright, and down he goes, finally. Alright, our marines are not doing so great. They've already fired, yes? Okay, so they can't sh help anymore there. We're gonna put these guys up on the hill. Just so that we can move these gunners a little bit more forward. We definitely need to get uh, our marines back out in front though, but... Ugh. Oh cool, we have an upgrade for our combat rover. We can turn it into armor. So we get either a choice between 20% when flanking or 30% when attacking fortified units. Personally, on this choice, I prefer the fortified units one. Just because fortified units can be a right real pain to remove and having a unit that kind of specializes in that, at least a little bit, is fairly nice. So that's the one I tend to tend to go for. Let's see, if I put you guys up on that hill, maybe we'll get some uh, better angles. It's my asthma is being a right real pain, though. So, alright, you guys will, that will just have to wait, though. Can you shoot anything? No. So you're going to have to wait as well. So yeah, I'm hoping we can get our, our, what, fourth city? One, two, three, yeah, fourth city set up over there. We should probably look at founding a fifth city as well. Uh, but let's, let's focus on getting the fourth done first. Uh, cooperation agreement? Yeah, sure, why not? And we will, um, get our... We're basically just gonna start beelining towards the victory choices right now. Oh, that worked out fairly well. Ah, uh, Siege Worm. Siege Worm, Siege Worm. Where's the quest? Biological Imperative. Oh, okay, that's a uh, quest decision. Eh, there we go. Let me see, I can either get more energy from a biofuel plant, or more production. I value one production higher than one energy, so that's the one I'm gonna take. What do we got up here? Alright, so we need... What do we have... Okay, it looks like I have already built the, um... Yeah, okay, we already have a, a trade network going in this built in this city anyway. So, I have three spies that aren't doing anything. I should probably fix that as well. Let's see, if I take a look at my trade route overview. We're going from Ayan to Asreya. Alright. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to switch the route that Megan is using uh, to send to Ayan and send that somewhere else and then send a second route from Ayan down to Megan. And for that, we're going to need another uh, trade convoy. So let's get that building. Alright, so we have the silica hooked up. So that's good there. What's kind of our next step here? Uh, we don't have robotics yet, do we? We do not. How do I not have robotics yet? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Not a whole lot else around here to build, truly. I could maybe try to get some farms up on these desert tiles, but that doesn't seem like the greatest idea in the world ever. Maybe I could focus on energy more and hope to just get most of our food either through, uh, you know, high food tiles like these tubers or uh, trade. Might not be a bad idea, but then again, we have like plus 47 energy anyway, so it's not really all that useful. I have a hill over here. Let's get a mine going on that and defer the decision to later. Alright, so we have these little bug dudes that are ready to be killed. So let's finish them off. And after that, maybe we can do some damage to this siege worm. Not a lot, but maybe some. I don't think you're close enough. Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, we're gonna pull them back, because they're not really gonna do much against the siege worm. A little bit of craziness going on there. Oh, there's the alien nest I discovered, apparently. Yep. Uh, huh. Not exactly a great place for me to be at the moment. So you're just gonna kinda stay put. They've kinda closed, closed the box on us. 
Let's see, if I go here, they, that siege worm can only move one. So if we move here, and if we get lucky enough and it doesn't move towards us, we can set up and fire. If it does move towards us, then all we have to do is move out of the way. So we're going to... Manticore can't really do anything to help. Neither can you. Alright, siege worm, go away. Looks like they're going to take out that nest for me. Or fail miserably at doing so. <laughs> Nothing else? Alright. Oh, I forgot about the damn spies that aren't doing anything. Do I have the... Uh, no, I must have already done that, uh, that quest for the uh, fourth spy. Yeah, there he is. Yep, he's working counter as to Intelligence and Megan. Let's see here. What can we do with what we've got so far? And eh, we can start looking to steal science. Maybe? Nope. Oh, okay, we don't even have a... Uh... Alright, Siphon Energy then. What about you? You can steal science, so let's go ahead and do that. And you? Uh, looks like Siphon Energy. Alright. So we'll get those doing uh, them doing that, and hopefully we won't get caught, and that... Worm did, in fact, move up on us, so we're going to have to... I should have... No, wait, if I had shot first, he wouldn't have been able to move. Never mind. So let's back off a little bit. And then shoot him. Tiny bit of damage there. Tiny bit of damage here. And you will have to... Run away in full retreat. I don't suppose this Manicor can shoot him, can he? Nope, not, not just yet. Alright, so Manicor will have to wait a turn. You are going to fortify until healed. Same with you. Where's my mouse? Same with you. Can I get out of here yet? No. So you have to wait. And production over in Thabo. Let's see here. I think we, yeah, we just built our um, fence. And trade network. So let's get a couple of trade vessels built, I think would be the best option here. Because we can send one back over to Megan. And then we can send one elsewhere. Seems like the best idea. Uh, what is it focusing over here for? Whatever. And, alright, that takes care of those bugs. And maybe I can get out of here now. Hope so. And these turns are taking quite a while. I wonder why. Let's take a look at the, uh... Yeah, let's take a look at the diplomacy screen. So let me see. If you listen at night, you can sometimes hear Casey Jones, the Wabash Cannonball, with his iron legs still running a mile a minute. Excellent. Okay, so with that research complete, we get access to bio wells. Kind of forgot we were doing that, so it's time to start building those, like, everywhere. Anyways, so we have, at the top of the score list, Hutama, with a harmony level of 4. So we're not too, too far behind him as far as that goes, though we should definitely look to bumping up our, harm, or our uh, purity level a little bit here. What can we build now? Or what should we build, I guess, would be the better question. Uh, don't really have a lot of miasma we want to get out of the out of the way, so that's not really all that useful. Attack net hub could be, maybe wouldn't be a bad idea to keep one in reserve, but that seems like it might be a waste of resources for the time being. To get a institute now. Granted, that's only specialist slots, but one of the uh, choices for it in the quest gives you like plus five percent on city science, which is pretty decent. Uh, let's see. It's one of those buildings that is really only made worth it by its quest decision. Kind of like the, the fence. You know, without that quest decision, the fence, in my mind, is pretty useless. With it, it becomes one of the best buildings in the game. But all that to say, I think I'm going to start building gunboats just so I have a... Oh, man. Pardon me. These hiccups just will not go away. Um, just so I have a little bit of a naval presence. All right. We are missing quite a few rather important techs here, I'm thinking. What is the most important one we pick up now? Well, I ju did just say I want to start bumping up my purity level. 
And one of the best ways that we could do that is by researching servo machinery. It gives us access to battle suits, as well as giving us our, our machinery level, and battle suits are kind of badass. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any titanium at the moment, so that is going to be a bit of an issue. And, of course, that worm ran away. Let's see. If we take a step forward, oh, give you an upgrade, and then shoot him. There's, what, eight damage? That's not bad, I guess. We can... Uh, see, if I move him th him here again, that worm is just going to move into position to kill it, I think. But on the off chance it doesn't. Yeah, this worm has definitely made things a lot harder for us. Let's get our explorer out of there, finally. Okay, we have another trade convoy. Where are our trade convoys currently going? So we have from uh, Megan to Thabo. So this is the one that was going up to uh, Ayan. So now we can redirect it somewhere else. Where would be the best place to go? Eh, we could probably send it over to uh, Mandri Man Mandira to get uh, some energy and science. That seems to be the best. Eh, well, hold on. We have enough energy. This would give us more science. This would give us the same amount of science and more energy. So I think we'll go here instead. I think after this one, after this uh, 30 run go, he might actually get replaced with a... Um, Oh, work brain. With a uh, trading ship rather than a uh, trading convoy. So we're going to go ahead and move here, and we're going to start... Let me see. Uh, hold on. If I build a, uh, these communication arrays, that gives me money and science, which... These things are pretty good for money. Not so great for food, which is kind of our problem, I'm thinking. Hmm. Should we be focusing on food or focusing on... You know what? Let's just start building up the bio wells. It gives us more health as well, which is always handy. And it's not like they're super expensive. It's too maintenance to uh, keep it going. So nothing too, too, ma uh, too, too bad. We're going to move these guys to... You know what? Actually, no. Never mind. They're going to stay right where they are. Because what I can do is wait... Uh, if it moves closer to us, they can get a shot off on it, and if it doesn't, then I can move them up next turn. But if I move them over here, all they're doing is getting in the way of these guys trying to retreat, so next turn I would get no shots off on this thing. Uh, speaking of, though, yeah, you're, these things are so useless. They only have one move. They don't have to set up to fire, granted, but... Alright, skip there. And hopefully we'll be able to use that call on us soon. Yeah, this, trying to secure this one city location is being such a pain. It'll be nice to have, though, because we have five petroleum and six titanium. That's going to be good for our orbital units, as well as giving us the titanium we need for our battle suits. And, of course, as I expected, he, in fact, moved closer. So, uh, we're going to skip turn on the colonist. You guys are going to have to run away again. No, why am I going over here? Damn it, that's not what I wanted to to do it all. Is there any way to get around these damn mountains? Not easily. Alright, we're gonna have to basically head out to the ocean and kind of try to come around this way, I think. So let's uh, head off in that direction. Alright, now, back to the part that I actually care about. Let's see if we can't do some more damage to this damn worm. It's 11 more damage. You guys will have to back up a step. And do some more damage. Alright, we're getting closer to getting that thing killed, which will be nice. I can't reach it from here. If it decides to move closer to us again, we'll be able to uh, hopefully kill it next turn. If not, however, we're a little boned on that front. So I'll have to wait and see. You guys can skip. Turn 191, so we are getting rather late into the game. I'm get definitely super late on my on pursuing my victory conditions here. But, uh, eh, we'll have to... Basically, to get to the next step of the victory condition, I need oil and titanium. So, that's kind of the whole point of this. No, don't run away again, you jerk. Alright, 
you can wait. What is our quest? From scratch. Uh, build three Terrascape improvements. Our workers are the most advanced in history. This planet's unfamiliar conditions continue to hinder our efforts towards expansion. Rather than fight our new world, we should attempt to rebuild the old one. Alright. So I have to build three Terrascapes. Well, we can start by building one over here, I guess. Uh, after he's done over there. We're in, in no rush. What were we focusing on over here? Oh, yes. We were look, focusing mostly on... Um, why do I not have standardized architecture? Oh, me from the past. You're such an idiot. All right. Well, doesn't matter now. We are kind of committed. Oh, yeah, we were going down uh, not the knowledge tree, weren't we? Mostly. So, let me see. Uh, I can earn extra culture equal to my 30% uh, of my positive health, which is kind of useless. What else can we get? 40% uh, penalty for the number of cities. Uh, let me see. 40% culture for the number of cities for virtues. Uh, ooh, I can get a new covert agent, which, eh. I can earn extra science equal to 15% of the culture I generate, which is actually not a horrible one to pick up. We're going to go ahead and do that. Because it's going to be what? Extra science, 15% of the culture I generate. How much culture am I generating? 24. Eh, that's a fairly decent science gain. Not a horrible point to spend either. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And that's bumped our science up a little bit. Now, speaking of, let's go and try to kill this damn worm. Alright, and we're going to move these guys up again, just in case he doesn't repeat the, um, the, uh, cycle that we've been in up until this point. Colonist is skipping a turn. You guys are, again, just kind of hanging out, because he probably will most likely come back. You guys are fortifying, yes? Yes, okay. All right, skip you, skip you, and come closer. Come closer. Uh, arc, let's turn. Yeah, these turns are definitely taking longer and longer to get through. It's starting to drag a little bit. Okay, yep, and there he goes. Move us closer, and we rinse and repeat. Okay, trade vessel is done. So, we are going to establish a trade route, I guess with Firebase 1 to start with, but we'll have to uh, get our explorers to find us a better uh, trading partner than that. Go ahead and shoot the worm. Retreat, and shoot the worm. Oh, is that it? Yeah! Die, wormy. Some might have found the last moments of the beast's life repulsive, but as purple and red gore rained down on us, I rejoiced. This day, I am whole once again. 50 science and 80 culture. Not bad, not bad. Alright, now we can finally move on with the whole reason we've been fighting this war against the aliens. Uh, but before that, let's see what do we want to build. Laboratory probably wouldn't be a horrible idea. Suggesting the Cyto Nursery, but... Well, then again, the extra health, extra science, extra production. It's kind of a nice little jack-of-all-trades one. Hmm. Repair facilities are not really useful if I'm not building a lot of military units, which I really don't have to in this instance. So, uh, we're going to go ahead with the laboratory. Bump up our science. Sciences a bit here. Same kind of idea over here, I think. Doesn't look like we have much in the way of important things to build. We are still missing the petroleum and titanium we need, so let's go ahead with the uh, laboratory over here as well. Alright, you've already moved, or moved and shot. You've already moved and shot. Let's get you ahead and moved up. Let me see. You are going to establish a trade route with Megan. Uh, you guys can just stay where you are. See, where can I set up that I could maybe shoot up far base one? Probably here. Is that far base one? Where is it? There it is. Over here. No. Here. Red Sun. Sorry, not far base one. Don't know why I said far base one. Alright. Let's uh 
We definitely need to try to find some better trading partners by sea. Is there, say, a patch of air of uh, ocean that we haven't explored yet, which is preventing us from really trading? Uh, over here. So, what we'll actually do is get this guy up here over to the sea, and then send, send him down here to uh, get this explored. That'll open up our trading options by... At least a bit. We could maybe send one up to Assyria, up to Sindela, uh, over to Red Sun if we weren't about to blow it up. You know, lots of options if we uh, just get this last little spit of land explored. Oh, where are we going? There we go. But yeah, the most important thing about this new base is going to be to basically progress our victory condition because, yeah, we really need to start working towards that. Uh, let me see... I sincerely regret these circumstances, but I must ask your assistance. You want 35 of my science? Go to hell. Get over it. You're, you're not getting any of that from me, no. Alright, we have a trade convoy who is free now. His previous route was over to Thabo, but we're going to... You know what, I have so much money I should probably start buying some units. All right, so we're going to send him over to... Let me see, that's 9 energy, 5 energy, and 8 science. All right, head over to Syria. And you are going to purchase a trading vessel. Excellent. And then we can send that over to uh, Megan next turn. Oh, cool. These guys can level up. Let's get our marines and stuff in place. Let me see, can you guys get over here? Nope, it's going to be two turns regardless. You guys are going to set up for an attack. And why can't I... Sh oh, the bloody forest is in the way. Alright, never mind. Move into the forest. These things don't... These guys don't have troops, so it's not like they can really attack back. Let's make for the water, and let's get our colonist um, moving up. We'll send the soldier with him. Just to uh, make sure he stays safe, but... Again, I don't think it's really necessary. And we'll get the rest of these guys moved up, though. Again, it might be a tad bit of overkill now that the alien threat has been taken care of. The other thing that this is going to give me, and I just kind of realized, this is a little bit of Zen Zenimass. Which is not horrible. You know, not really what we're going after. Not going to have a ton of uses for it. But at least it'll be there. Oh, we got a sea dragon. We could probably kill him if we really wanted to, but not much point. Alrighty. Uh, so we have that floatstone harness. So we have like 14 floatstone right now, which is enough to do us for a little while at least. We do need to... Uh, I want to complete that quest where we are doing the terrascapes. So let's uh, go ahead and start working on that. We'll send him down this way so he stays out of the miasma. Thank you. It'll take him an extra turn, but I honestly don't care. And send you over to Megan. And, okay, we have our gunboat done, which is good. Oh, yeah, these gunboats are actually pretty quick. Quite sprightly. We can maybe send them up to do some exploring for us. Now, set up for the ranged attack, and then shoot the city. Shoot the city. <sighs> Alright, move in to take the city, so that we can initiate hostilities. Lose a bunch of my soldiers needlessly. Now, shoot the damn city. Thank you. We put our gunner up on this hill, and that should give him a pretty good line of sight, as far as that's concerned. The next turn, we can maybe run these guys over to this side, though maybe not, actually. Can you guys shoot from there? No, of course not. There's a hill on one side, and a uh, forest on the other. Of course, you can't do anything. Yeah, we'll get everybody moved up, though. You go into the water, and these are our marines and colonists. We can get them kind of moved up here. These are our gunners again. I have to skip a turn there. Production. What do we want to get? Um. Well. Our. Probably best idea to get the Institute, which will give us the ability to uh, get. Oh man, these damn hiccups are back. Will allow us to uh, upgrade our science a little bit more. Alright, that forest has finally been cleared. 
Only took for bloody ever. Uh, there goes the dragon. Which, fine, whatever. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, well, at least we have something for our other units to do now. Alright, so somebody got some veterancy. You did. Gunner, shoot them. And we'll move these guys up here in preparation to take that next turn. We'll move you guys up onto the hill and you guys can move up to where they were. Over here, next turn we can start building that damn Terrascape. And let's see if we can't open up some uh, trade lanes a little bit here. So we want to kind of head up this way so that we can skirt around that Miasma. Same idea there. And we'll do some more exploring with our uh, battleship. No sense in leaving him sitting at home doing nothing. Bit more damage with our gunners. And hopefully we shall have this. You guys are going to fortify until healed. We'll need you to do the final kill on the city, but until then, we'll just keep hammering away at it. And hopefully, by whoop, I guess by next episode, we'll be able to uh, turn our set up our colony here. So this is probably where I'm going to end this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Any feedback you guys care to leave in the form of a like, dislike, or comment below is greatly appreciated. So long.